My name is Nick Tilt. I farm Hymedic Farm, Ludlow, South Shropshire, which is on the Welsh borders. We farm 350 hectares of predominantly arable land, although we do have some livestock in the form of dairy heifers and one or two other businesses based on the farm. For us, soils are very important. They are the most important asset we have, have as farmers. My whole farming philosophy is based around preserving soil and soil organic matter and improving soil organic matter. I think it's vitally important to introduce organic matter onto your farm where necessary. We buy a lot of poultry litter uh, from local farms. We also have dairy cattle and their manure is mixed with the poultry litter and applied onto ground where there is either a shortage of nutrient or organic matter. One thing as a farmer that I think is the most important asset we have is our soil. And so everything we try to do is with a view to protecting the soil. Our best friend in the soil is the worm. This is ground that hasn't been cultivated or drilled, uh, sorry, or ploughed for 10 years. It's only ever been direct drilled in one form or another. What I'm trying to do is to encourage as many worms as possible. I'm not sure whether you can see that with your camera, but there is a worm hole with a root finding its way down the wormhole. Put simply, the more of that that I can encourage, the better. We've now come to a field that we've ploughed this year, and it's the first time this field has been ploughed for seven years. Why did we plough? Well, after seven years of minimum tillage, we were finding that we were getting a very bad sterile brome problem. And the most cost-effective way of dealing with that sale brome is to plough it down. It's not something I particularly enjoy doing, uh, but it does uh, provide a solution to quite a serious problem. If we look at the soil here, compared to the previous field, the soil uh, is far more compacted. There aren't the worms within the soil and there is no organic matter. We are now in our last field of our experiment. This field was cultivated to a depth of four inches with a, a tine and a disc cultivator. We then drilled the following day into the soil. My suspicion is, come harvest next year, this field out of the three will give us the best financial results. This is because we spent a little bit more than direct drilling on the cultivations. I think we have a better plant establishment. We've managed to eradicate some of the weeds and the soil organic matter. Whilst we won't be as good as the direct drilled, will be better than the ploughed. We have tried three different methods of establishing our wheat this year. Ploughing, direct drilling and going into a minimum tilled soil. My costings are that the difference between a direct drilled crop and a plough and cultivated crop in terms of establishment costs are £120 per hectare.